Here's an example of what the Caesar cipher looked like. It's a ROT3 cipher. You take the plain text, which is the input to the cipher, you run it through the algorithm, and the outputted text, often called the encoded text, is what you would write down. All that the rotate 3 cipher would do would take each character and count up three more characters and rotate around. In other words, A, in our first plain text ABC, you look at the first character A, go to the third character past that, which would be D. You just add 3 to the character value. So A would become D, B becomes E, and C becomes F. So your plain text is ABC, your encoded text would be DEF. Then we can look at regular words, and it all works the same way. Hello becomes K-H-O-O-R, and attack becomes D-W-W-D-F-N. Now, the reason it's called a rotate three cipher is what happens if you end up with the last three characters of the alphabet? In other words, what if you have a Z? Well, you just rotate back around. So Z would then become a C, because we have Z, next would be A, then B, then C. So it rotates all the way around. In order to decode the text, you would just use the opposite approach. You would start off with your encoded text. D, subtract, would become A. E, subtract 3, becomes B. F, subtract 3, becomes C. Again, very, very simple cipher, but it was smart enough to fool most of the people back at that particular time.